Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I'm doing really good. I have another Dollar Tree haul for you. Some pretty cool things I think this time. You saw in my thumbnail, makeup, 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 name brand stuff again. Um, oh, I was so happy. And But I'm gonna wait till the last to show you that so that I can actually swatch some of the things for you. So I'm just gonna start off. I picked up, I think I've talked to you guys before about it. I've been buying socks to make the two older granddaughters a sock box for Christmas. A new pair of socks for every month. And I saw these and just couldn't pass them up. Look how cute they are. These are peanuts. Everybody knows with Charlie Brown and Snoopy. And these are called no-show socks, which on them, they're probably going to, to be um, regular socks. Now I see the size and I don't think these are going to work for them. These are size 9 to 11. These are bigger socks. Oh no. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do with these now. Maybe I'll just keep them for myself. I didn't even realize that, that they were bigger sizes. So any of you ladies out there that are looking for bigger size socks, these Peanuts ones are for 9 to 11. Wow. Which I'm sure they're going to fit smaller than that, but I I thought they were cute and I couldn't pass them up. Man, I'm going to be more careful whenever I go back and because I would really like to find these in a smaller size. But I just thought they were so cute. This one was Snoopy and Woodstock and it's mostly a red with the yellow toe and the yellow around the top. And this one is Snoopy and him being his flying ace. I just thought they were adorable. So I picked them up. Maybe I'll just give them to the girls whenever they come down and see how they fit. Oops, dropped that one. But I just thought they were so cute. And if they don't like them, I'll keep them for myself. But yeah, I will definitely be more careful the next time when it comes to the size of the socks. I just saw them and thought they were adorable and thought, why not pick them up? I picked myself up a flower pot. And I really like this one. It's kind of textured with lines on it, but the thing that I liked about it is it already has the water holes poked in for you, and then it has a drainage little thing on the side if you overfill or you know, overwater. I really like this, and it's a nice size pot. I don't know if you can tell by the size of my head. It's not super big, but it's a decent size pot. Hubby for Mother's Day bought me a beautiful pot with um, calla lilies in it. I've never grown calla lilies. Here in Pennsylvania, I did some research and calla lilies, the bulbs don't like being in the ground for the winter. So I'm gonna try to grow them in the house and not worry about having to dig them up every fall. So I'm gonna try that. And I know that calla lilies like to be kind of root bound and they are definitely root bound. So I thought once they stop flowering, I'm gonna move them up to this. And this pot is maybe about two inches bigger around than the pot that they came in originally. So I thought that was really pretty. I loved the navy color. They had all different colors. They had a terracotta and I believe a green, different colors of them, but I really liked the navy for some reason. So I picked that up and yeah, it has the nice little watering holes at the bottom. So, and another thing that I do, I actually buy a bag and I did not, I need to write that on my list. I buy a bag of stones from the Dollar Tree, the little rocks that they have, and I put those in the bottom when I'm gonna transplant a pot, I just throw like half a bag of those stones in the bottom and they work well. And so I do that, but I forgot to pick up a bag of stones. So I need to remember. Oh, and by the way, I have on my little lion t-shirt today that I had shown in my last video. I really like it. Yeah, my, you see the neckline, how I just, I cut the collar off and make it into a V-neck. Um, anyway. I saw this and thought it was different. Actually, Hubby did. I have seen these before. I think I saw one in orange packaging. And he actually picked up two of these for us to give it a try. It's the Suavitel. I usually stick with my vanilla because I absolutely love that. But this is the Suavitel Complete. It says color protection, fewer wrinkles, irresistible softness and freshness, easy stain removal. You get 12 small loads and it's a 14.4 fluid ounce. And this is in the Soothing Lavender. And it says with stain shield technology on it. And it smelled really good. I'm not a super big lavender fan. I do like lavender, but 
it's not my favorite scent in the world and but we thought we'd give it a try and see how it works if any of you ladies or, or gentlemen have tried this let me know what you think do you like it I don't like any types of scents that linger in my clothes and are really strong. I don't like those little pellets that you put in the washer and I don't like that at all. I would like my clothes just to smell just plain really. Maybe a, a light scent but not the overpowering smells. So we picked up one of these and thought we'd give it a try and see how it works. And another thing, I couldn't find my pre-wash, my pre-brush mouthwash that I use all the time but I picked this up instead for now do you see the size of this bottle it is gigantic and this is from the Lavoris variant brand which has been around forever it says from the makers of Lavoris it's called Freshology mouthwash fresh peppermint freshens breath without the burn great value great tasting long lasting and it is a 32 ounce bottle it is massive I've never tried this before. I have no idea how it works, but I thought, what the heck, until I can find my my um, pre-wash again, I'll pick this up and use it. I went to two different stores and couldn't find my pre-brush pre -brush rinse anywhere. So I hope they're not getting rid of it. So this is going to have to do until then. If you guys have tried this, let me know. This was the only color flavor that I saw, so I have no idea if there's others or not. But Lavoris is a name brand company. It's been around forever. I remember my gram using Lavoris years and years and years ago. Um, a couple of food items, drinks, whatever. I picked up another bottle of this Vizu and this was the black raspberry. We really liked this. So we saw it again. I actually picked up two bottles of this. I really enjoyed this. I love blackberry, black raspberry, red raspberry, whatever it may be. I like it a lot. So we picked up another one. Hubby really enjoyed it too. So we picked that up. And these are massive bottles as well. They're double the size of the sparkling ice, at least double. This is a 33.8 fluid ounce bottle. And I believe, yeah, these are made in the USA for those of you that want to know that. But we really enjoyed this a lot. So pick that up. And you guys know that I'm an almond fan. I picked up another bag of the Maddies and these are the Hickory Smoked. They kind of changed the packaging, or these are old packaging, one or the other, because the other hickory smoke was kind of in a burgundy reddish package. These are the hickory, hickory smoke. They're non-GMO. It's a two-ounce little bag, and these are made in the United States as well. I really like these a lot. I actually have a little, little bag of them open downstairs as we speak. I'm sorry as we speak and I actually I love them I, I don't go crazy on almonds I'll just have you know four or five as a little snack in the afternoon to hold me over till supper but they're delicious I love them they are my favorite almond brand at the Dollar Tree they're so fresh they're crispy crunchy delicious the the salt and the spices they have on them are just amazing so I picked up another pack of those and I saw these and have never seen this before but these are the Maddie K's almonds and they are in salsa flavor. And it also is a two ounce little pack. I've never seen the salsa flavor before. Have you guys tried these? Are they good? I just think that sounds delicious, sounds yummy. So I picked up, picked up one of these to give it a try. I was gonna pick up two and I thought, no, I'll pick up one because what if we don't like them? So they have to be good, they're Maddie K's. They're just delicious. And of course they're made in the USA. I, I think all of their products are made in the USA. It has the little, the little flag made in the USA symbol. But I just love these, they're delicious. They're little snack size bags. They're not super gigantic, but they work. On the kind of beauty aisle thing, I needed some deodorant. You're probably gonna see one of my deodorant bottles in, in the next empties haul. Of course it got down to where you know, at the very end when you go to use it and that last little hunk falls out on the floor. So I needed some deodorant and I picked up the Secret 24 hour solid powder fresh. This is a 1.5 ounce package. It's Secret, it, it's great. I've used many of their deodorants at the Dollar Tree and I never have an issue. I'm not that picky when it comes to deodorant, but I love Secret. So when I saw it there, I picked it up. I'm gonna smell it. I noticed one thing too, that they don't have the cover on anymore. Remember they used to have like kind of like a 
sheer plastic cover and you'd have to pop it off. I didn't see any of those with it, but the Powder Fresh, I absolutely love it. And I have seen other of you ladies haul these and I had to pick it up because it just smell or it seems like it would smell so good. And it is by the Olay brand. We know that Olay is a name brand. This is the Fresh Outlast White Strawberry and Mint. And it's a little, just a little thing of body wash, but I figured I'm gonna pick it up and try it. And if I like it, then I can go and buy the bigger bottle at the store. It's a three fluid ounce little bottle of body wash. I have not smelled it. Oh, that smells so nice. Oh, yeah, I guarantee I'm gonna really enjoy this. Give that a try, and if I like it, I'll be putting it on my grocery list to pick it up in the store. If you guys have tried this, let me know what you think. But it just sounded so nice. The white strawberry and mint, love both of those scents. So when I saw it, I picked it up. These are just small bottles. It was in like the travel area where they have all the little minis. That's where I found this. And we buy a lot of things from there just to give it a try. And if we like it, then we buy the bigger container at the regular grocery store. And Hubby picked up just a thing of the Aquanet. He uses hairspray in his hair every once in a while. Me, me too, but not very much. So this will last a very long time for us. It's Aquanet. Us 80s girls, we know all about the Aquanet and we have pictures to prove it, but you will never see mine because no, it's not gonna happen. I love the Aquanet. This is the unscented, it's this extra super hold. It's a four ounce spray can and it says all day, all weather, all over hold. Absolutely love Aquanet. For a buck for this can, it's gonna last us forever. Can't beat it. I picked myself up this. It's a little notebook and I just thought, it was so pretty. It's by Jot, and it has the ring binder type closure. It's 60 pages. It's a spiral notebook, and I just thought it was pretty. They also had it in pink and in purple, the, the kind of marbleized design. It has the elastic closure, and it's unlined. They, they don't have lines, but the reason I actually got this, I have a constant Dollar Tree list going my wish list items and everything and i just use one of their it's a little four pack of their little tablets that they have i that's what i use for my dollar tree hauls they're not made the greatest they're kind of the the covers are very thin i throw it in my purse and it gets all banged up and ripped up so i thought this being a hard cover i don't know if i said that but it is a hard thicker cover and back i thought this would work really well for me to use for my Dollar Tree wish list items and just to throw it in my purse. And I just think it's gonna be a lot more sturdy to have in there. And I'm gonna to try to find a pen, a little pen or something to stick in to have with it at all times. But I thought that would just work a lot better than having the regular little notebook that I always put in my purse. So I picked that up for myself. <clears throat> so we are now on to the makeup. Oh my guys. Wet and Wild again. These, This is the Wet and Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. And this is in Botanic, Botanic Dream 323B. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. I just thought that was beautiful. I don't use much highlighter. I will use a little bit right here, some right here. Sometimes on my cheeks, like on the very top, but I don't have any on today. I even use it like right under my my eyebrows and I just thought that was beautiful this was the only color that I saw so I have no idea if there are other colors out there or not my t-shirt I'm sitting on it and it keeps pulling to the one side sorry guys but I just thought that was absolutely beautiful so let's see if I can open this up easily if not I wasn't even going to open this I was going to save it for and give it to my daughter which she would take it even if I do use it so it doesn't much matter about that but let me see if I can get this open quickly I never want to open the packages beforehand because I'm always afraid I'm gonna lose the name I was able to get it guys hold on one second I have all the little sticky stuck to me here sorry about that but that's what it looks like opened very shimmery it's very smooth let's see if it's very light. It's hard to see. I don't know if I can get a good 
Can you see that there? Me and my veins look really purple today. That is very pretty. I like that a lot. I hope you can see that okay. But I like that. And like I said, I have no idea if they come in other colors or not. They also had a massive round palette and it was a um, contour kit and it was round and half of it was the darker brownish color and the other half was more of a skin tone. They had that there too, but I don't contour. So I did not pick that up. But if any of you ladies or, or gentlemen are interested in a contour palette, it was just the two colors, the brown and the, the skin tone. They had that there as well. And it was wet and wild, I, I believe. But I thought that was very pretty. And the next wet and wild product is this lip gloss. I thought that was pretty cool looking. They had this and they also had a very light purple color, but I thought this was pretty cool, so I picked it up, and it is in the color Jade. It is Wet and Wild. It says Mega Glow Lip Gloss. They are a cruelty-free cruelty company. And let's see if I can get this open easily, and I'm able to. Let's see. It doesn't really have too much of a smell. Oh, look at that. Cool. And of course it has the doe foot applicator. It does give off a little bit of a, a greenish, greenish iridescent type shimmer. That's really cool. Let's try it real quick. <laughs> I like it. I'm a lip gloss girl. I know I've said that many times in my in my hauls, I love lip gloss. I will wear lip gloss over lipstick any day of the week, and I like that a lot. I may pick up, if I see it again, I may go ahead and pick up if they have any other colors. I know they had a, a purple, like a lavender color. I'm not sure if there were any others, but I picked up this one to try first. It's not gummy or goopy. It doesn't smell at all. There's no, no scent to it whatsoever. So yeah, if you guys see that, give it a try. The next thing I saw, L'Oreal. L'Oreal, guys, at the Dollar Tree. This is called Infallible Paints Metallics. And it is for the lip. And this is in the color Moon Lust. Do you see how, I mean, that looks metallic to me. I just had to pick one up and try it and see what these are. I, They had one that was very, very dark, a very dark purple. And I can't remember what the name of it was. But it was almost purple to black, like that dark. And they had this color. And this definitely looked more like something I would wear. So we're going to pick it or open it up and give it a try. It's called Metallic Lip Paint. And it's a 0.22 fluid ounce little tube. Let's see how easily I can get this open. Much easier than the others. That is it, right out of the packaging. I just think that is so pretty. And it's L'Oreal. I don't see much L'Oreal at the Dollar Tree. I've seen a lot of Maybelline. Oh, it's definitely not what I expected. I expected it to be in a tube that you just did it that way. It is a doe foot applicator. Looks kind of goopy. It looks kind of thick and goopy. Let's see if we can kind of stir it up a little bit here. That definitely helped. I'll do it right here. Oh. Can you see that? It goes on very nice, smooth. It has a slight, a slight scent to it, like a very light, very light, maybe fruity scent to it. That is really pretty. Oh, I'm happy with that. Very happy. Let's see, does it dry or does it stay? It seems like it's gonna stay wet, like it doesn't dry, it doesn't dry matte and dry. It stays soft like a lip gloss. Oh, I really like that. Nice. I'll definitely wear this in one of my next videos so I can give you a review on that. So keep an eye out for that, guys. That's, it's L'Oreal. L'Oreal products at the Dollar Tree. You can't beat that. 
I have no idea how much this costs in the store. I've never seen it before. So yeah, that's, that's that. Those are my, my makeups that I picked up and I'm always on the lookout for makeup. You can't beat it. A dollar at the Dollar Tree compared to the price in a store? No, you can't beat it. And it, what I don't use, I end up passing on to my daughters, and they love it. So, yeah, that's what I got in this haul, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you're all doing well. <clears throat> if you're watching and you like my videos, you like this type of content with Dollar Tree hauls and empties with reviews on the products I've used, Please subscribe. would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. All right, guys, I need to go and clean this, <laughs> clean this stuff off. You guys have a great day, and I'm going to talk to you again here real soon. Peace.